live and in studio on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS, your real estate and financial experts, making sure you win in every market. Your financial partners, Don and Gino. Thank you again for joining. Don Gatling, Gino Franti here with the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show every Thursday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. right here on your hometown station. And we are, we already started the ball rolling, Gino, and we want to make sure you don't miss out because uh, the information that we're sharing, and we're going to be able to answer questions now because we have upped our game. After two years, we have figured out how to do a chat room, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's nice about the chat room, Don, is that, A, it's a lot of fun, it's interactive, and it's instant. You know, uh, a lot of times we were waiting for the emails to come through. We would get really great emails from our listeners saying, hey, here's this question, but we would get it after the show was over. And because we do a live show, the chat room gives us the opportunity to answer on the spot. I really like that. Yeah, and it is live. I know you guys probably think we pre-record that, but it doesn't, we tried to do the pre-recording. It doesn't work because the information we give you isn't timely enough and it isn't real enough. When you, you're, we're right here to answer your questions. We answer some great questions that came on our chat line. So go to donandgino.com, donandgino.com. Click on the listen live button. You can enter our chat room by just clicking enter through Facebook, which most all of you have. We know Tamara does. <laughs> <laughs> She's the queen of, of Facebook. And la last uh, hour, we gave away an incredible encyclopedia of the 377 best colleges. Uh, thanks to Rob Schwartz and Eureka Review, uh, college planner extraordinaire. And today, we're going to go... We're going to go over with Tamar House of uh, Team House, I should say, with uh, Troop Realty and Ray Arnabelle with All Valley Leasing. They actually are team up to cover every facet of the real estate market today because you need that this, this day and age, especially if you're out thinking about, you know, purchasing real estate for investment. Do you really want to be a landlord? Let Rael handle that because I don't. <laughs> she uh, loves it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I got. I got to tell you guys. I got to <laughs> tell you guys. Yeah, if it not. wasn't for my dad, I would have hired you guys a long time ago. <laughs> my poor dad. I feel so bad for him. In fact, he, uh, right about now, he's there with the Los Angeles Housing Department <laughs> as they're inspecting all of my properties for their once every three to five year reviews. And last Saturday, you know, here's the call. Hey, broken pipe. And I go, hey, dad, broken pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you get those calls, you. right, Rail? Yes. Christmas Thanks, dad. <laughs> hey, Christmas Eve. <laughs> wow, wow. So if you just tuned in, we're here with Tamar House uh, of Team House Real Estate and Troop Realty and Ray Arnavel, also with Team House, but she handles the All Valley leasing portion of it to help you manage your properties because that is – Silly work. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, and let's actually dive since it came the conversation came up that way. Let's dive into the investment opportunity. I think we were talking a little bit about the window a little bit, and I think that's the first window that's going to close. The first window that's going to close. Uh, it's it's actually somewhere in between. It's between the first time home buyer and the investor. Those are the first two windows that are going to close. Let's talk about the investor first because I think you guys offer a turnkey solution. And sometimes you have, uh, because you are a really good listing agent, you also have opportunities before they even hit the market, which is right now super important. Exactly. And we're working with a lot of investors right now, and they call us directly knowing that we have the management company and ask us to go find these listings for them. And so we go out and find listings for them, and then they purchase it, and we manage the properties. It's a win-win situation. But that window of opportunity, these investors know that. They're smart. They've been waiting for this to happen, and they are on it, and they're ready to jump. So unfortunately, yeah, those first-time buyers are getting pushed out a little bit. So, you know, it's a great opportunity right now. Interest rates are super low. Take advantage of this window because it's not going to be around here forever. Look what happened back in 2005 to 2007. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about the break. No doubt. There was a lot of – actually, new home buyers were completely pushed out of the market. There was no new home buyer market. Exactly. At least not responsibly. Gino actually brought up a good point. Uh, some of you out there going, wait, I bought my first home then. How did that work out for you if you really seriously did not qualify for that home because we had the stated income? I made this. And now I got this home that really I couldn't afford. And we're responsible lenders. That's what we do at Cherry Creek Mortgage is we give you sound advice. And unfortunately, a lot of that didn't happen back in 2000. 2007 we're at the peak of the market and we want to make sure you don't run into that again and, and I know Tamar and Rael can help you with that. 
Yeah, in fact, we're closing a deal for an investor uh, tomorrow. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Super and, excited. Yeah, and he's going to do really great. It went really smooth, and uh, I believe that was one of your listings as well. You had a short sale opportunity there. Uh, in fact, uh, he is probably going to still cash flow on that property every single month. Absolutely. He certainly is. On tax deduction. Absolutely. And it's his first uh, purchase as an investor. So how exciting is that to know that, you know, it's available for anybody out there. I mean, you don't have to be a professional investor to start your, with your first home. You just have to pick up the phone and call you guys, talk to you about what you need to do and what kind of money you need to come up with, and it's pretty simple. Okay, well, let me clarify that. It's not pretty simple <laughs> if you're all on your own. It's pretty simple if you've got a great team. So it's, true. it's imperative. It no, is. Honestly, it's imperative. You just go out and go, I'm going to buy this home. and I, I, If you don't know all the details, then you, it's that old saying, if you don't plan, then you plan to fail. Yeah, and I mean, and this in particular, right, becoming a real estate investor, I got to tell you, I made a lot of mistakes as a real estate investor. I really did. Um, I still do, but I make less today than I did 10 years ago when I started. And I purchased my first property during a great window, and that's how I was able to leverage that into three properties. Otherwise, I would I would have never been able to do that if the timing wasn't right. And I truly believe that right now the timing is prime and right for investors. Right now. I just met with a landlord last night, and... Um, I mean, just to kind of touch base on that was she was debating if she should manage it herself, just have us buy the tenant or have us manage it. And I said, really, at the end of the day, I'm going to give you, you know, my professional opinion. Um, if it were me with my own personal properties, um, tenants smell that you don't have confidence as they, that you don't have confidence as a landlord. So they will take full advantage of you if you don't have somebody that knows, you know, the game knows how to, you know, do everything legally, and um, it, really at the end of the day, it's worth that extra well, You fee. take the personal out of it, because I yeah. know for a fact, if I was renting from someone, especially if it was, oh, I don't even have to get this, but I was renting from someone, from and me. I knew I could work from it. From the worst. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we're so nice. I know. I'd be like, Gino, come on, man. I, I'll get I you that money next week. No, no. Sorry, my boss promised to pay me. Another I'll get it for another week. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. my car broke down. Oh, no, I know I got laid off, but really I'm getting a job next week. I, I smell it. These are the things that, you know, professionals deal with. They say, sorry, this is what your contract says. We're going to handle it. I have to look out for my client. I'm sorry for these unfortunate situations. A lot of us all have to go through them, but you handle it because that personal side of it for me and a Gino who just love people, I would get killed. And if you're in a new <laughs> in a new investor, you wouldn't have the confidence to say, I apologize, but I'm serving you a three day notice. You know, you wouldn't have that confidence behind you. So you just kinda of drag your feet and then you end up getting murdered at the end of the day. So it is having a good team is Well, you also have the resources important. they need. A, a landlord, Gino, just kinda of, you know, hinted on that with his dad helping him, but there is so much involved that you don't realize you'd have to be involved with, which, mm -hmm. which unfortunately, if you don't have a team behind you, is going to make you regret being an investor. And unfortunately, and fortunately for those investors out there, real estate still is the number one way to build wealth, period. I'm sorry, if you, because if you have a house that appreciates from 200 to 400, you just make $200,000 over, which is say a 10 year period. I don't know about you out there. But trying to save two hundred thousand dollars in ten years based on your income, good luck. Possible. In most cases, it is. You'd have to have a, an incredible, you know, wealth. But then, if you do, you probably spend it. So, well, not only that, but I always call it transgenerational wealth. It's one of the few assets that have been historically passed down to your family members, to your children, to whatever other families left. And for whatever reason. It's one of those that people are not going to burn through. Most of the time, the kids or family members that inherit properties tend to keep them because they create cash flow and they like that monthly check because they're paid off at that time and there's no necessity to liquidate them. Yeah, tomorrow, how would that work out if you handed your 14-year-old like a big $100,000 check? How'd that work out? I'd be gone over that. <laughs> One big giant What car? Uh, Lamborghini. You're like, nice car, son. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that, that's important. So what's nice is that Tamar and Rayel, you guys have a foolproof system to help them find the right property and – do the numbers. We help them with the numbers. You help them with the numbers. Make sure that they know they can cash flow. And then on top of it, you know whether you can rent it, 
how much you can rent for, and then it's going to be handled, correct? Absolutely. Handle it all. Yeah. What, what a great team. You guys probably just love what you do, huh? We do. We love our <laughs> clients. We love you guys. We love just being in this industry. All the affiliates that are involved these days really help us and our team. Without them, I mean, it'd be tough to be an agent that doesn't have a team behind them. I, I don't know how they do it. I didn't know where to go on that one because <laughs> I, I would be toast without my team at Cherry Creek Mortgage and Gino helping me. Oh my gosh, you have to have a team. You have a great team and we love working with you. And we're going to share now how Tamara and her team are figuring out how to get you more money than you even asked for in your home. And this is consistent and it is happening today right here on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220. Please see us. When the light is made. 